Welcome to the broadcast. Our sign language interpreter this evening is Joki Shege. Now, five people have died and 33 have been rescued in Tassia, where a six-story building collapsed. On Friday, the multi-agency response effort entered day two with rescuers working towards getting to the remaining tenants still trapped in the rubble. Well, James Gitao and his wife, Mary Njeri Mugunda, lost everything in that building but are grateful to still be alive. This is a six-story building in Tasia in Embakasi, the same height as the building which collapsed. But looking at it now, after the destruction and even in the recovery process, looking at the rubble, its height, it's hard to imagine the sheer weight of the collapse and the impact, especially with people trapped inside. On the second day of the rescue effort, the multi-agency unit, comprised of the Kenya Defense Forces, the National Disaster Management Unit, and the Kenya Red Cross, kept drilling through the layers of concrete slab, shells of the stories stacked on each other, keen to place even the faintest cry for help, story by story. It is fear that of the 26 unaccounted for, almost all are still trapped in the rubble. 33 have since been rescued, 26 are missing. 18 were taken to Mamadou's hospital, of which uh, 16 were discharged. In Kenyatta National Hospital, we took 14. Uh, seven were discharged, six are still admitted, while one succumbed in hospital. At the Kenya Red Cross Information Center, families of those affected, those who survived, came looking for fresh details. Here, psychosocial support was offered. <laughs> Not too far away in an iron sheet structure within the same neighborhood, we find 31-year-old James Gitao Kamande and 23-year-old Mary Njogona, his wife. The couple lived on the fourth floor of the six-story building and were there at the time of the collapse. The sheer horror of it still stalks them. They lost everything in the building, but at least they lived. The one-year-old son was with the grandmother in their rural home in Kiambu. The relentless effort of the rescue team is what gave them hope that they would make it out alive. James was treated at the Mama Lucy Hospital and discharged. However, he still bears fresh wounds and injuries. He can't walk upright without support, and beneath the physical scars are layers of trauma. Hey Christmas, as in Nia Uzuni too. The rescue operation has been made more complex and difficult because of the people still trapped within the rubble. Any wrong move could come at a heavy cost. We cannot predict when you are going to finish, but you are working very hard to ensure that uh, we finish as soon as possible. For families who are still distraught, frantically searching for their kin, where there is life, there is hope. For those who survived like James and Mary, life must be rebuilt. Dorka Swangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.